It's ironic that in a country famous for its appalling weather, Rolls-Royce has managed to develop the world's ultimate convertible. The Rolls-Royce Dawn is an imposing vehicle. It measures almost 5.3 metres long. It's a real land yacht. And that nautical theme continues with this lovely timber rear deck. Now this orange pinstripe you see along the flanks, not only does it bring out the lines of the car, it really makes the interior pop. And get this, one bloke, my mate Mark, paints it by hand with no rulers. The wheels are huge 21s, and like all Rolls-Royce vehicles, the centre caps stay upright even when the car is moving. The interior of the Rolls-Royce Dawn is just lavish. It is so sumptuous. Wood grain trim. It's not lacquered, it's exposed poor, so you can feel the wood grain. The front seats are incredibly comfortable, but how about the back seats? Is this a true four-seater? Wow, yes. This is just delightful. And if the weather turns British, Rolls-Royce has you covered with a custom-made in-car umbrella. If you'd like to make an entrance, the Rolls-Royce Dawn is for you. Check out these amazing doors. They're super heavy, super long, and a little bit hard to close, unless you're like me, trained in the Jedi arts. And if you're not a Jedi master, there is a button. It's so smooth in the way it accelerates, it almost feels like an electric vehicle. And I tell you what, it's just as quiet too. Being in this cabin, there's a real sense of relaxation and tranquility. There's a special delay in the accelerator, which means you and your passengers will never have that nodding dog syndrome. Despite riding on massive chrome wheels, ride comfort in this car is sublime. A combination of air suspension and active dampers create what Rolls-Royce calls magic carpet ride. And sitting in it, I'm loath to disagree. Many Rolls-Royce owners prefer to be chauffeur driven, but this car is very much an owner driver proposition. But make no mistake, this is not a sports car. The steering is ultra light, and there's not a lot of feel in that huge, long, boat-like nose. Most cars have a rev meter to tell how fast the engine is spinning, but that's a bit vulgar for a Rolls-Royce. These have a power reserve meter to tell you how much oomph you've got left in the tank. You wouldn't even know you were driving a convertible, such as the quietness and the attention to detail that's gone into making this roof one of the best in the business. A couple of elements I'm not so happy about in this car are the brakes. They're very spongy and I know that's a luxury thing. Everything's got to be soft and smooth, but sometimes when you need to brake in a hurry, it can be a little unnerving. Another thing, where are the USB ports? I couldn't find any in this car. But I suppose really, I am nitpicking a little now. The Rolls-Royce Dawn is the epitome of British engineering and craftsmanship. It puts all other luxury convertibles in the shade and many luxury limos besides. This is not just the best of British. This is a world beater.